Archeo the Infamous, and W.O. back with another video doing my final prediction for the fourth main event, even though it's a World Heavyweight Championship event. This is the, this is the lower of the main events um, on the WrestleMania 28 card. Sheamus versus Brian Danielson, a.k.a. Daniel Bryan, though for the World Heavyweight Championship. This all started back when um, Brian Danielson cashed in his money, um, yeah, his Money in the Bank contract. At WWTLC, when Mark Henry had a gore groin injury and was injured, Big Show won the title, and then Danielson cashed the money bank, became World Heavyweight Championship, and out came, out came the odds over the past couple of months against Big Show and Mark Henry. Then going into the Royal Rumble, we saw Sheamus winning the Royal Rumble match instead of Chris Jericho, which we all predicted. And then going to the Elimination Chamber, we thought um, Danielson might lose it to Randy Orton and have a Randy Orton versus Sheamus match at WrestleMania 28, which what which was not the case because Brian Danielson retained the championship and I believe Orn was taking out the match if I remember clearly yeah it was and um, it's funny because last year WrestleMania 27 I was expecting highly for this match because if everyone remembers it was Brian Danielson versus Sheamus for the United States Championship which got pushed to the dark match but they were advertising as on the be on the card and I was actually looking forward to the match and I didn't know it was a dark match I was watching the pay-per-view so while I was watching after the uh, what was it, the Divas match? I thought, wow, they're going to put Danielson versus Sheamus before the main event. This is going to be really good. And then after they put the Miz scene, I'm like, what happened to the match? Wasn't it supposed to be on the card? And um, it wasn't, obviously. It was the dark match that turned into a battle row, which I thought was highly, highly stupid at the time when I thought about it. And I still think right now, getting this as a main event, I was like, Really? You're going to do that after... It would have been way more sense. It would have been much more build-up, too, if they had that match on the main card and be like, Oh, I already beat you last year for United States Championship. What if, like, if Sheamus beat Danielson, which probably would have happened because he retained the championship anyways, even though it ended the qualification, Sheamus would have said, Oh, I already beat you last year WrestleMania for the United States Championship. What makes it any different that I'm going to be for the World Heavyweight Championship? So it would have been more build and more drama, and a year in the making because the rematch one year later. Made more sense, WWE logic, but whatever, I'm just a smart mark, right? Anyways, going into this match, um, Sheamus has claimed that he he wants to steal the show with Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson, I bet, one of the the best wrestlers in the world, doesn't have a bad match with anyone, has, was, is able to put a great match with anyone because it proves when he had the Elimination Chamber match at the ending with Danielson and, and uh, Santino Morella that... It was actually really good. It wasn't bad at all, which shows that Brian Danielson could have a good match with anyone on the roster. So, I expect nothing but good things in this match, and I possibly think that this could be a show, like a dark horse, because no one's really thinking that this is going to be a good match, steal the whole show and have one of the best matches of the night. Um, I, I don't think any match will top Taker Triple H, because the amount of motion that, that, drive, that will drive that match will never top the amount of wrestling that could surpass the match, but wrestling-wise, wrestling clinic, I honestly think Sheamus Danielson has the potential to be the best match of the night, but, and it is a dark horse, but no one is really expecting it because it's Sheamus, and not a lot of wrestling fans know about Brian Danielson, and the Indies want to be, being one of the best wrestlers in the world, but since he's a heel, and I love his yes gimmick, because his character's been building up for the past four months, and no one expected him to hold the title for this long to WrestleMania, but he is the world champion going to WrestleMania, but it just made, it makes me a little sick to my stomach how that match last year was a dark match. But we're getting in the main card, and I do see Sheamus winning the World Heavy, Heavyweight Championship, breaking that Royal Rumble streak from 2008 to now of none of the winners winning the title in their t uh, winning the title in their title match at WrestleMania. If that makes sense, yeah. And usually because for WrestleMania, except last year. There's always a new champion and always re someone retains. So I see Punk retaining and Sheamus winning the belt. Or it might be flip-flop where um, um, Jericho wins and Danielson retains. Or we see two new champions. Uh, yeah, but this is like the new era of wrestling. This is what we're going to see. Sheamus, Danielson. This is going to be another big feud. Well, not a big feud, but this will be the feud. I think the feud of... This era will be CM Punk, Daniel Bryan's, Brian Danielson in the WWE. They had a tremendous feud throughout their whole independent career in the indies between Punk and Danielson. You watch any of those matches, it's tremendous. 
you can now we're gonna watch it on the big stage of WWE and hopefully at WrestleMania one year and what one year. But yeah, that is my prediction for the match between Sheamus and Brian Danielson. And why I call him Brian Anderson, because that is his actual name, and that's what he's called in the indies. And I, I, I love his indie matches compared to WWE matches. WWE matches are great, but his indie matches are classic. By the way, if you don't know, if you want to more, know more about Brian Danielson, you can go to ROH.com, ROHwrestling.com. Their store, and they, say, and they have a compilation set of Brian Danielson best matches, which has a match between Brian Danielson and CM Punk, and a lot of other wrestlers that you probably have heard of, but lower end, that you think they probably couldn't wrestle but they have great matches but yeah that's just a plug for ROH because I have the DVD myself it's there I just don't want to get it but yeah if you just want to know about Dan Brian Daniels Brian Dan Daniel Bryan's career I always say I always say Brian Daniel because Brian Danielson Daniel Bryan's career in the independence and how great of a wrestler he was you can go get that DVD it's just a little insight for you guys if you guys want to do that but yeah expect this to be a good match Great match. It probably could be the show stealer five star dark horse match that no one expected, and I'm I'm praying for that too because everyone wants that top spot. I know all these wrestlers in the main events are working for that to be the the best match of the night, the most memorable match of the night. Obviously, Taker Triple H, and um, what was it <sighs> Roxena? Obviously, well, how did that slip my mind? Because I'm thinking like I'm thinking on overdrive right now when I'm thinking wrestling, but these other two main events for the WWE Championship, World Heavy Championship, even though they're a lower, lower tier to the card, it's funny how the championships are lower tier to these godly main events. But these are just dream matches that are on WrestleMania. It's like title match, dream matches will always surpass title matches no matter what, no matter how much WWE or or, or those. Idiot fans that say, "Oh, why the WWE Champion will have a championship and not on last?" Because we have two dream matches, and we have two title matches, and dream matches will always surpass title matches no matter what. And the streak is just will always surpass a title match no matter what. But yeah, that's my thoughts, and I'm just a little going on a little bit, which will be in my prediction video, which will be up tomorrow because this will be uploaded on Friday. And yeah, so that is my prediction. Sheamus, your new World Heavyweight Champion. That is all.